Why, hello everybody, what is going on? It's Ghost Robo, and we are here with The Witness. This is the super hard edition uh, of our Let's Play. Uh, I've skipped forward probably a good seven to nine hours, uh, and everything is crazy now. The game has gotten insanely difficult and insanely challenging. Uh, if you thought the first video was hard and crazy, now you're in for a real treat, uh, because this one, the game is just way, way weirder. Um, I figured I would live stream it uh, just because then I can share it with you guys and then you can see and maybe if you're confused on some things uh, you'll learn a few tips from me because I have played this a boatload. Just to recap kind of uh, what I've done and what I've been doing, um, I've solved 303 puzzles now. I have plus 8. If you don't know what plus 8 means, I won't spoil that. And I have 7 lights connecting to the mountain top. That means I've solved 7 sections in their entirety. Um, there are 11 sections in the game. And uh, you only need seven to beat the game. So I technically could go beat the game right now. As you see, I've got seven beautiful lights twirling towards the top of the mountain. Uh, but instead, I am going to go for a 100% completion on this thing, uh, which means 500 puzzles solved in 11 out of 11 lights. Um, you enter the mountain over there if you want to go beat the game. But once you do, you hit a point in no return, and then it resets your progress, which I don't like. So uh, instead... We are going to continue along on our adventure um, and uh, see what's up. So, the sections I completed, in case you're playing along with The Witness, which is, it's already one of my top ten favorite games of all time. It's brilliant, it's beautiful, it's so creative. It's amazing to think that one dude, pretty much, made most of this game with his own brain power. Like, freaking genius at work here. Um, the fact that he solved all these puzzles and created all of them, absolute madness. But I beat the... Uh, the initial uh, sort of rocky plateau area, that's one. I beat the desert area, that's two. I beat the greenhouse bunker area, that's three. I beat the quarry area, that's four. I beat the forest area, that's five. I beat the jungle area, that's six. What's the seventh one? I know I have a list somewhere. Uh... The treehouse area. That's the one I just beat. Okay. So, we, uh, we've we done seven areas, and now we're moving on to the monastery, which is an insanely weird area. It's a very small area, the quickest one to complete, but that's not to say it's the easiest. So, this has been opened up, um, and there are obviously going to be spoilers in here, so if you want to play The Witness fresh and free, then you should probably leave now. But if you don't care, or if you want help, or if you want to just see how crazy this game gets, then stick around. I'll probably be streaming for a little bit. Um, and uh, making some progress, and then the video will go live on the channel um, if you haven't seen it. So where I'm at right now, I'm in this room, uh, and you use this tree here, this lovely Zen tree, to open up windows. And what the windows do is uh, they reveal the solutions to the puzzle. So right there, you can see that that's how I solved that diamond. I had no idea what to do with diamonds, and now I know. So we'll go to the second window and try to line it up. The question is, where does it line up? Because the first one lines up real easy. You can see there's like a line in the tree. Um, the second one, not as much, but it has to do with something uh, reflection-wise. We just have to figure out how to line it up. And I'm guessing... Eh. So it starts on the bottom, so we need somewhere where the bottom is going to uh, work. And then it has to get to the left side, so... It's probably this right here, since this is the most diamond-esque type thing. Let's see. Can we line this up somehow? Alright. So, okay. Left, one, right, three, Da, 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 da. Okay, I think I, I think I can remember that. Alright. Starts from left one, right three, up here. No? That was wrong? Hold up. That one's like that. Okay, I'll draw it. You need a lot of pens and a lot of papers uh, for this game. I have been going through them like crazy person. What did I do wrong? There? Oh, 
Hello, people of the chat, and hello, people in the comments who are not in the chat. Where's my pen? Magic pen, where are you? I need to write down some of these clues. Literally, I've been in like a puzzle Twilight Zone the past couple days, and like I said, 300 puzzles completed, which is a crazy amount. Um, seeing some people in the chat saying The Witness is boring. It kind of is, I guess, but I love this kind of game, so to me, it's not boring at all. So we need to go over one, up one, two, and three, over one to the top. Cut up. Wait a second. So it's up one, over three. Oh, so it's, and it's over left one, up three, and then over one. So then it's down one, then back over one, then down one, then over one again, then down one, then over one. Cool. It is so colorful. Uh, it is one of the most beautiful games. The vibrancy is turned way, way up, and I love it. Um, so right, and then we're going to go up down here and then up and then down here and then over no all right it's okay it may not feel like your kind of game i know that this game isn't really uh for everybody it is slow paced it is plotting you will have to think and require a ton of careful uh focus and concentration um but once you solve puzzles like there is such a beautiful feeling like my girlfriend Becca solved one that I have not beat yet uh, last night and uh, I'm insanely jealous maybe that's the solution maybe it's just that over one up one two three and then over one two and then down one two and then over one and down one and then up let's see all right there are 500 puzzles in the game. I'm not sure how many plus puzzles there are. Why is that not the solution? Okay, this one made easy sense. Why is this one so tricky? It has to do with lining this tree up in just the right way. And I know that this is the starting point. This, this dot right here, I know that's the starting point. I wish you could actually solve the puzzles through this window. I'm going to try and put that as closely there as I can. Oh, I can solve it here. Interesting. See, doesn't that look like it should totally work and be right? I guess not. I guess you have to line it up in a different way. But it so looks like... I mean... Alright, well anyhow, um, there's more puzzles in here, but the only way to activate these is by... I think... by solving... Or maybe not. Maybe these aren't even necessary. Or maybe they, they are, because then the cord goes in and lights those up, so... We need to solve these ones. Urgh. And this is kind of the experience of the division. Like, you may spend an hour or two on one puzzle. Um, I'll show you some cool stuff uh, as well. Um, I don't know if there's any around here. But, uh, again, this is a big spoiler. But if you don't care, then here we go. Um, so check this out. So, I've already done this one, but just to show you, there are also puzzles in the world that then you can draw on the actual, like, objects and solve more puzzles, uh, which is pretty darn awesome. I've already done that one, so it won't activate. Um, but, yeah, my sanity, Courtney, is not going so well. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, this game is about solving puzzles and about kind of ruining your mind because it's, it grabs a hold of you and then it won't let go. And I'm trying to solve this one right here. And we're trying to figure out where it exactly goes. 
And it looks like you line it up like so. But the problem is, it's not solving itself the way that you would think it would. Like, it looks like that should work. And it doesn't at all. Whereas this one, you know, you very easily can go and solve. That works, right? So then you think... But it's all about lining it up correctly. Here, we'll just do this. <laughs> I wish. Alright. Um... Okay. Do, do, do. Dude, Theo, it is really hard. I've solved 300 puzzles. You can check my progress right here. Boom. 303 panels solved. Plus 8. And I'll give this one one more try, and then we can move to a different area if you want. Um, the problem is... Try it from the angle. You gotta line it up just right. Problem is, I don't know what just right looks like. It looks like it's that, but apparently it's not at all. Hmm. I don't. There we go. I don't know why I had to go around that, but I guess it's just following the trees. Now this one's tricky because uh, you can't see at all. I know it has to do that, but that's about it. <laughs> um, yes, Isaiah, the whole game is puzzles. Uh, we solved one, and now... Oh, I bet we have to look at it from the reverse and then recreate it. So it's, okay, so it's left, then right two, then left two, then over one, I think. And then reverse, it would be just flipping that, so it would be right, then left. So it should go, well, first let's look and make sure we, I'm going to take a picture of this, because you got to, uh, you got to take pictures of stuff so that in case you forget what you did, you don't mess it up. I recommend a phone. Ah, that is not supposed to happen. I recommend a phone, a pencil, and a paper. A paper. All right, so we're going to go right, then left to, then right to the next. Beautiful. All right, so that opens this gate here. And now this one, this is a shortcut um, that I currently do not have access to. But that's okay, because what's most important is that we enter the treehouse and solve this madness. Um, and I think it's going to have to do with branches somewhere. We're going to have to line stuff up again. The question is, where do we line it up? And what do we line it up with? Because this puzzle sure is... I think it's... No, that's the reflection of that. Okay, I'm going to change the windows. It must have to do with changing the windows, right? So the way you change the windows is... Uh, by solving this puzzle multiple ways. So like, every time you change the way that you solve that puzzle, it'll close some windows and open other ones. Um, it is super fun, Dangle Frenzy. My favorite game of the year. I mean, I know the year just started, but it's gonna be hard to top this one. Um, that doesn't seem to be bringing any shadows in. That's how I saw, that's how I opened this place up. I wonder what I have to open. Okay, that one clearly looks like you line that up. So maybe this is similar? Aha! Uh -huh. Beautiful. 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 All right, now this one. This is really cool, isn't it? Like you line these trees up. And it helps you solve the puzzle. Hmm. Maybe it's these ones? Yes, indeed. So we'll go there. 
So the game, like, when you first look at screenshots or uh, when you look at, like, you know, reviews or videos, you're like, this game looks so simple and so dumb, it's all line puzzles. But once you realize that's just the input mechanism and then all the puzzles are all really, like, much more environmental puzzles and much more, like, crazy cool puzzles, then you're like, oh, this makes sense. Now I see why this game is so dang cool. Okay, so this one is about matching, I bet it's about matching the branch up there. So we're going to go over to, up one, up two, left one, up one, right two, down one, right one, up one, up two, over, all the way out. Okay. Let's see. So, over two. Up two, over one, up one, over two, down one, over one, up two, all around. Beautiful. Beautiful, baby. And now I bet we do it again from here. But I bet this time it's like, hmm. Okay, so it's again lining up. You can see it lines up. So it's over one, over two. Down one. Oh, I'm just going to draw it all out because clearly there's a missing piece. Because it looks like it goes down two, over one, up one, right one, and then down here it ends by going up one, over two, and then out. Hmm. So is there a branch? Uh-oh, there's a branch on the floor. And it's a zigzag with a two. So the branch on the floor looks like this. It goes up one, up two, over one, up one, over one, up one. This is so clever. This game is so freaking clever. All right, I read your text very often. Um. Okay, so where did I have it? And I had it lined up all nice. Right there. So now to make this match, um, we got to find a way to stick this in. If I rotated it, I'm going to rip this off. Uh, as you can see, I'm using lots of crazy notes here uh, with drawings, and I have tons of them strewn around my room with, like a crazy person from some weird movie. All right, so if I take it that way, Then it would be, let's see if I draw this out here. Down, one, two. Hmm. Let's try it. So down two, over one, down one, over one, down one. And let's see where that gets me. My gamer tag is Ghost Robo on Xbox One and it's Ghost Robo underscore Zach on PlayStation. One, two, one, two, one, up, over, and then if we went down two, left one, down one, left one, down one, there we go, sweet, I don't know what that opened up, I completed the puzzles, I'll complete the puzzles. Did that open the light puzzle? Please tell me it did. They said this is the shortest one. It did. It did. It did. It did. It did. We got another light. Boom, baby. The monastery is insanely short, uh, but it's incredibly cool. And now we've got our eighth light. So that is now 310-something puzzles solved in our eighth light, which is super sweet. Um, this will rise up and shoot out to the mountain. That's another area to complete, so I'll keep that on my list. I've got now... Monastery, Greenhouse, The Steps Slash uh, Plateau, Jungle, Treehouse, Desert Quarry, and The Branch Forest. All done. Sweet baby. Sweet, sweet baby. There are trophies in this game. I have trophies off. I have all notifications off because um, it really breaks the flow when you're trying to record. Now, um... I can't open the shortcut from this side to get back into the jungle, but the jungle is one of the, s probably my favorite area in the game thus far. I can't do it from here. Um, it is really hard, Connor. 
This game is absolute madness. Um, wish I could show you some more of the uh, environmental puzzles. I'm not sure where they're all at. I know that there's some with the steps. So let's see if we can line these up correctly or not. Um... Let's see if this one will work. No? Let's try now. Where does it go from there? Oh, there's another piece of it. Okay, maybe I can go this way. then that doesn't line up. Hmm. Um, I have played it on my own time as well. Um, a lot on my own time. It would take me a billion years if I only played it on stream. Plus, I think you guys would grow to hate me. Um, can I walk up on these rocks? Can I get up here? No. Hold on. The crazy part is not only do you have to worry about... Uh, the puzzles on the actual boards, but you have to worry about the environmental puzzles as well, which is where the plus comes in. That's kind of one of the, the tricky secrets of this whole thing. It's like you can see I did this one here, that one. See, I already did this. And like you go all the way around and you can solve these puzzles in the environment. So you look for like big circles uh, where you can start. Um, I think Slime Rancher is worth it. Anyhow, are there any more up here? Oh, I didn't get the one. Okay, so there is one more that I can grab. But let's see if we can open up the shortcut from the jungle. The jungle puzzles are so cool. I'm not going to spoil how those work. Because if you do get this game, I want you to figure that out for yourself. It is stupid cool. And you will fall in love uh, with it all over again. Alright. Um, let's see. Can I connect back up to the bamboo forest this way? I think just like as a walking simulator, the game is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I know the game is way more than that, obviously, but it's super cool that it also functions as just like this amazingly beautiful game. Um, one of the areas I need to go to, I need to handle the castle still, which is driving me insane. There's hedge maze puzzles in there that are, like, will make you cry, um, and or die. And, uh, then there's also, I have to do that, that, what else do I have to do? Okay, so what is the trick to this one? Uh, the castle, the swamp... I'm not sure what I need to line up with this. Uh, anyhow. Oh, I bet it's the rocks. Check that out. There we go. <laughs> Open up the shortcut and now I can get in here. Um, and I know there's another environmental one, so we'll do this. I would rate this a 10 out of 10 or an 11 out of 10 or something like that. Um, the super hard puzzle, I still have not solved that one. <laughs> it was super hard! And it still is super hard. Okay, I gotta get to an angle where I can connect to this other spot. Um, let's see if this will do it. Oh, I already got that one. I didn't think I did, but I did. Okay. I wonder if I'm super close if I can. Like if I'm super close to this stuff if it'll let me solve them. Whoa. Still going. Still going. Yes. Unlocked another one. And then they get sent up to the obelisks. And then you have to fill these entire obelisks. So within this region there are a billion of these. Um, and it's pretty cray cray. Alright. 
Um, so this area is complete. I think I did everything in here, which is great. So the monastery is done. That was quite fun. Um, the village is probably the hardest. That's another area that I need to complete. And I, it's, village is something else, man. It combines a lot of the strategies and skills you learn in the other areas. Um, I've got eight lights of 11, so I've fully completed eight of 11 areas in the game. So I just have castle, swamp, and village, I think. Those are the three left. And then there's a bunch of optional puzzles, which I'm going to try to do, because I'd love to have, like, a full... I'd love to beat all of them. I think that would be awesome. Um, let's head up here and see if there's any more environmental ones we can grab. Um, any around that you guys see? Because, see, there's another obelisk, so... There's got to be more somewhere. Hmm. I mean, there's this one, but I've, I think I've already, yeah, I've already done that one. Oh, there's another one there. Crap, I have to get to the other side, though, because there's a rock blocking it. Um, and I'm getting text messages. Let's see. Okay. All right. Um, so none over here real quick. Apparently, there's also some right by the starting area, so I kind of wanted to walk my way back to the starting area and see what we found over there. Look at all those lights going to the mountain, baby. Uh, like I mentioned, I could beat the game right now. Can I not do this one? Oh, can I? Do I need to be farther away? There. Goodbye! Hey! I can't jump, unfortunately. I wish I could. If I if I could jump, I'd, I'd do it for you. All right. Um, there's no jump in this game. Let's go back to this main area. Just in case there's other puzzles here that I didn't recognize or whatnot. I don't know. I think I beat everything in here. I don't think there was any extra stuff. Apparently, there's some puzzle here that you can only get once, and then once you leave the area, you can't solve it again. Something along those lines. But it's weird how you can draw in the world. I think that's super cool. Um, yeah, it looks like I got everything here. Although, wait, there's steps there. So can I get up top? There's definitely a way to get up there. The question is how... Um, this is just a simple line maze, right? Yes. I don't know what that activated. But something somewhere. A ladder? Is there a way to get up these stairs? Okay, I don't mind. The door's already open. Okay, so it goes up and do. Well, how can I get back? Okay, I'm going to go exit the gate and go around. Let's see. Beautiful. All right, gorgeous. This is not the one that we activated. That's the one, right? And it goes out. It goes totally behind. I wonder what that opened up. We're just walking up on top here. I guess this just shows you that you end and see. I bet there's environmental puzzles over here. Probably, right? You can walk atop things, unless there's puzzles. I'll just... That is not one. T 
Ta-da! Hello? I don't know if there's actual environmental... Puzzles here or not? Yeah, I'm just roaming around trying to solve some extra stuff. I technically could go beat the game right now. But, uh... I don't want to do that. Because once you beat it, then it resets your progress. And then I would be... All... I have to start all over. And I really want 100% this game. I think it would be the coolest platinum trophy to have. Oh, there. So there is one there. I don't know if there's more or not. At least we got one of them. You're <laughs> getting a headache. I'm sorry. This game can give you a headache. I definitely have had some times where I wanted to throw my PlayStation through the wall. But what is this powering up back here? Oh, it opened this gate. Where does this gate take us? Out here behind the starting area. Where do we pop out? I know that's one. I just have to get to the right spot. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a magic dot puzzle that's probably going to be insanely difficult. What's in here? This is a magic land. Isn't it? Very, very mysterious. Hmm, I think we did it. We did. Where are these doors opening to? Hello? Hello? These puzzles are the ones I don't know how. They're scattered everywhere, these random weird triangle ones. And I have no clue what they mean or how you solve them. You'd think it would just be that. Maybe it is. Is that all you have to do? Maybe you just find those and solve them. Uh, I'm going to start live streaming more stuff, by the way. I know The Witness isn't the greatest, most fun game to stream. But I'm going to start streaming more of it. Or more different things. Um, I want to stream... Just a variety of stuff. Battlefront, Garden Warfare 2. Um, I think I'm going to do some uh, XCOM 2 next week. I think that would be fun. And yeah. So, uh, I think... Whoa. So there's some really weird, tricky puzzles here. And I don't even know where we're at. I never even noticed this one. Super weird. Is this always here? It's a dot puzzle, but it's also... An isolation puzzle. Super freaky. Yeah, am I gonna do it right? Yes, I am. What is in here? Where is this taking us? What the heck? There's a magic box. What is in here? Ah! Oh, it's... These are the solutions to the... Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I don't want to spoil where, what this is from, but this is a solution. This is a solution for somewhere secret. This game is full of magic, and apparently even after you beat the game, it's full of magic. This game gives me goosebumps more than any game I've played, because the feeling you get when you beat something, when you solve a puzzle that took you so hard, uh, or took you so long and it was so hard, is just a brilliant, mind-blowing feeling. I hope you guys enjoyed the video or the stream, whether you watch it live or post. This is basically showing you where uh, you know, the witness goes after you've solved the early puzzles. You apply all your skills, all your different things, uh, and then have to solve puzzles in the environment. So it gets really crazy. Um, I will quickly run you to where... Uh, to, well, I'll, I'll quickly run you to show you where that solution's, what it's for, just so you can see how 
weird the game gets uh, before we go. Um, the Super Hard Edition uh, is because we've solved over 330 puzzles now. Um, and uh, they just keep getting crazier and crazier. But just to show you, some of the ones in the town are insanely hard. Like this one. Touch all the black dots and make that shape. Really tricky. Uh, or this one. Make all five of those shapes and separate those uh, stars. Or this one, separate the stars, but there's not an even number. Uh, it gets crazy. And then where I want to take you right now is down to where I got to go, um, which is inside the windmill. This is not one of the main areas of the game, um, but it is a secret underground spooky place uh, that is down, 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 down. And I don't even know what it does. I don't know what's down here. I don't know where this leads to or leads from. But I know that in here there is a theater room. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, but I'm going to take my... I just got a honeycomb thing. Uh, that picture I just took. I'm going to try and apply it to this. Okay, so if this was rotated like that. Let's see. Ah! Well, that's no better a solution than any of the others, is it? What the heck? So, in the end, have we learned anything from this look at why the world turned out the way it did that's of any use to us in our future? Something, I think. That the key to what the freak? change is the key to everything. How easy is it for knowledge to spread? And that in the past, the people who made change happen were the people who had that knowledge, whether they were craftsmen or kings. Today, the people who make things change, the people who have that knowledge, <laughs> are the scientists and the technologists who are the true driving force of humanity. And before okay. you say, what about the Beethovens and the Michelangelos? Let me suggest something with which you may disagree violently. That at best, the products of human emotion, art, philosophy, politics, music, literature, are interpretations of the world that tell you more about the guy who's talking than about the world he's talking about. Second-hand views of the world made third-hand by your interpretation of them. Things like that as opposed to this. Know what it is? It's a bunch of amino acids. The stuff that goes to build up a, a worm, or a geranium, or you. This stuff's easier to take, isn't it? Understandable. Got people in it. This, scientific knowledge, is hard to take because it removes the reassuring crutches of opinion, ideology, and leaves only what is demonstrably true about the world. And the reason why so many people may be thinking about throwing away those crutches is because, thanks to science and technology, they have begun to know that they don't know so much and that if they are to have more say in what happens to their lives, more freedom to develop their abilities to the full, they have to be helped towards that knowledge that they know exists and that they don't possess. And by help towards that knowledge, I don't mean <laughs> give everybody about? a computer and say, help yourself. Where would you even start? No, I mean trying to find ways to translate the knowledge, to teach us to ask the right questions. See, we're on the edge of a revolution in communications technology that is going to make that more possible than ever before. Or, if that's not done, to cause an explosion of knowledge that will leave those of us who don't have access to it as powerless as if we were deaf, dumb, and blind. And I don't think most people want that. So what do we do about it? I don't know. But maybe a good start would be to recognize within <laughs> yourself the ability to understand anything, because that ability is there, as long as it's explained clearly enough. 
and then go and ask for explanations. And if you're thinking right now, what do I ask for? Ask yourself if there's anything in your life. Guys, his comments are hilarious. That's where to start. Thanks for that. I don't know what's going on. It's a presentation by James Burke. Jonathan Blow put this in the game because it's a BBC. I don't even. This game is so weird. Okay. And you can play that movie. I think there's a puzzle in the actual movie, but I'll leave that to solve for another time. This game is madness in the most incredible way. Uh, now you have a taste of what The Witness is really about, which is insanity. Puzzle solving and insanity. There is so much going on here. So much craziness. So much hidden meaning. What the island really is. What's going on. I don't even know, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to get 100%. I'll leave you here with 300 and 15 panels solved plus 12 environmental puzzles. Whew. I don't know how long this game will take me, but I will 100% it. And I will bring you guys more awesome videos. We'll live stream more in the future. I'll give you guys a better head up. Until next time, though, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Thanks for joining the live stream. Thanks for watching the video if you're not here live. Uh, and until next time, we will see you all later.